Welcome to Garden Life, the channel for all of your gardening needs. Today we are going to talk about the difference between horticulture and agriculture. What immediately springs to mind when we consider horticulture and how does it vary from agriculture? Although most experts agree that horticulture is a subset of agriculture, many individuals struggle to understand how they vary. Although horticulture includes cultivating crops on a much smaller scale than agriculture, both practices employ very similar processes. Vegetables, fruits, nuts, flowers, and other decorative plants are the most common ingredients. Horticulture typically calls for quite specialized tools and methods. For optimizing plant development, it may also be necessary to have regulated environmental conditions and greenhouses are frequently employed for this. On the other hand, agriculture may be done using simple equipment. Moreover, horticulture does not involve animal production, whereas agriculture does. Agriculture uses extensive fields and a few core crops, whereas horticulture is practiced on a much smaller scale with a good diversity of crops. The Latin words hortus, which means garden, and culture, which means cultivation, are the roots of the English word horticulture. Literally, it implies cultivating a garden. In contrast, the word agriculture, derived from the Greek words agri, which means field, and culture, which means cultivation. Since horticulture encompasses all forms of garden management with a concentration on intensive commercial output, it is more lucrative than agriculture. The majority of people believe that horticulture just pertains to plants with fruits, nuts, vegetables, and flowers, but it encompasses much more. Horticulture includes ornamental and landscape plants including trees, shrubs, grasses, and even herbs. Agriculture, on the other hand, entails the large-scale cultivation of a limited number of crops. Usually, the emphasis is on growing a significant quantity of a particular crop. In contrast to horticulture, it also involves raising cattle. On the other hand, Horticulturists typically have greenhouses and vertical gardens since their goal in horticulture is to maximize the output of different crops in a smaller area. By the use of cutting-edge technology and specialized apparatus, they maximize the potential of a small space. By trial and error, horticulture and agriculture have developed over time. Notwithstanding the significant influence that technology had in its evolution, agriculture has a longer history than horticulture. Horticulture takes it a step further with certain specialty crops cultivated intensely on a smaller size, whereas agriculture mostly works with cultivating food crops and animal rearing on a big scale. Let's attempt to better comprehend this relationship. Agriculture can be traditional or environmentally friendly.
Sustainable agriculture makes farming environmentally sustainable, while conventional agriculture is best suited for cultivating a single crop like wheat or rice, and it entails changing the environment by adding trees, irrigation, and tilling. Also, this enables farmers to cultivate a range of crops since it employs more environmentally friendly crops that benefit from local environmental circumstances. Contrarily, horticulture grows crops using science and unique techniques. Plant breeding, soil preparation, genetic engineering, and biochemistry are a few of these techniques. Research on crop productivity and nutritional value is extensive. Crops are now more resilient to pests and harsh weather thanks to field-based technological development. Agriculture and horticulture have been intertwined since the Neolithic era. Together, they kept developing via trial and error. Our forefathers studied which plants would flourish in virus environments. As a consequence, weeds, illnesses, and pests were all identified, which assisted in the discovery of their respective treatments. Some of the treatments, which may seem preposterous now, entail killing of animals and hand-picking insects and other pests from plants. Yet, when did horticulture start? Many of these abilities quickly gain popularity as a result of historic texts and stories. With time, there have been significant changes in horticulture practices, from the use of simple tools to irrigation, propagation, drying, and fermentation. Like and subscribe to this channel and share this video.